Hey everybody, hi. So, okay, I, I was praying this morning, um, kind of running around taking my kids to like cross country and work and all these things and I'm, you know, it's Wednesday, so Wednesdays are our day to um, pray for children in our prayer group. And so, you know, I'm praying for obviously my children and all children, sick children, and it's just kind of got me thinking um, about a lot of things and I was thinking about I don't know, I just have a grateful heart this morning um, for everything that God has done in our lives for our kids. Um, and so I kind of wanted to share some things um, that were on my heart this morning. Um, a lot of you know that, you know, 10 months, 12 months ago, we were in a pretty dark place uh, with our kids. Two of our younger kids were diagnosed with Lyme disease, antibiotic, antibiotic resistant Lyme disease. And I was thinking back this morning to, you know, a time when I was sitting in the hospital with our youngest daughter, and she had it really bad, really bad, um, and I was sitting there just going, why, you know, why are we here, why is this happening? It was so bad, that she had a lot of co-infections, um, vision problems, it was her pancreas, so she had blood sugar issues, they were talking, you know diabetes, MS, or, they're talking all these really scary things, and she was having breathing troubles, and she um, was having all these complications, and it was kind of scary, and I'm praying, why? I pray for my kids every single day, I pray for my kids, and I was sitting in that hospital going, why? You know, this was something that came from a bug, a bug that you created, Lord, you know, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, why? And it was antibiotic resistance, so antibiotics didn't work. We went to a bunch of doctors. Nobody could really help us. Um, one doctor even said, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. She's like, I, I can't help you. There's, I don't know what to do. And you know, I appreciated her honesty at that point. Um, so we had to take the natural route. That was our, we were forced into that path. I'm a health coach and I believe in the natural route. We were trying to do everything traditional um, that we could. And I, I was actually forced into that path with our kids. Um, and even after when we brought her home from the hospital, you know, and I'm trying to homeschool these kids with these... <laughs> with this illness and these issues and these learning problems, vision problems, emotional problems, body pain constantly, blood sugar, it was constant crying, constant crying, constant pain all day trying to work full time from home in the midst of it all and I'm going, Lord, why? Why? Again, why? A bug, a bug that you created. Children on a playground, she got bit on a playground. So I'm thinking, why? And God was silent. He was silent. He didn't tell me why. Um, I didn't hear. I didn't hear an answer why my daughter was bit. Um, and so, what do you do when you don't hear an answer? You just keep trucking, right? <laughs> you know. It, it, then it's just all faith. You put faith in action because you don't. You don't hear and you just kind of keep going forward in whatever way you could. And at the time, it was the natural route. That was the only thing that was offered to us. That was the only thing that we had that we could move forward in. And looking back on that this morning, I couldn't, I didn't, I didn't know what was happening. We were put on this path, you know, it was kind of like we we're on this journey of faith and everything was kind of like, hunky dory for a while, you know, we were semi comfortable on this journey of faith and all of a sudden one day God put us like on this off road course in the deep dark woods where it was unfamiliar, it was unknown, um, we were going uphill and all we could do was just keep climbing, working, being diligent with the protocol walking, 
working some more. That's all we could do day after day, step by step. And I look back on that today and I realized, you know, we got to a point then and we've come to it where the path kind of brightens, gets a little less thick and the trees are thinning and the sun, you can, the sun is starting to shine, light's starting to come up on, on our path and our kids are getting better. They're getting healthier. And looking back where we were, I was praying, Lord, why? 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 And he was being silent. And he couldn't tell me why at that time because I wasn't at a place where I could see it. I was in the I was in the thick of it. I couldn't see it then. But as things started to progress, and as we got to the point where um, things were getting better, he shone the light on the path and the trees, you know, they thinned out. And I got, we got to a place where we could see. And now I kind of, this morning, I'm looking back and I'm like, oh my gosh, he brought us to the top of this dang mountain. He brought us to the top of it. Where, this morning in prayer, I could, I could look down at that path below us and see, ah, okay, we were on that comfortable path. You took us on the off-road path because that path led here. Not just to health, but better health. Better health than we they were at because before Lyme disease, they were in the doctors all the time with ear infections and this and that and oh my goodness, so many, so many things. Pneumonia, bronchitis, flus, you know, they they're healthier now with lingering Lyme disease than they were before Lyme disease. And it's because of the path that we took. As hard as it was and as terrible as it was and it is sometimes, because they're not totally out of the woods yet, but they're healthier now. And so I'm looking back on this going, my goodness, it's because I was praying, just let us go back to the way things were. Let us, let us just go back to how it how it was regular every day and and God was saying but I'm taking you beyond that I want to take you someplace better than regular and so this morning I wanted to share that because I feel like I feel like there's some of you who you're at that place God's put you on this path and you're finding yourself right now in the deep dark woods you don't understand where you're at Maybe you feel lost. Everything's unknown. It feels like it's uphill. You just keep climbing and climbing and you're saying to God, why? Why am I here? Why did you bring me here? This doesn't make any sense that you would bring me here. I pray and I want to know you and I'm, I'm trying to do your will. Why am I here? And you feel like he's not talking. He's not answering you. You feel like he's silent. But I'm sharing this today because I want to tell you he's not silent he's watching and he's walking with you and he's listening to you but you're at a place right now where you can't see the full scope but he's bringing you there you might be you might be crying out just take me back to the way things were let's let's go back just why did you bring me here but he's telling you I'm taking you beyond regular every day into new life. He's taking you to new heights. And someday you're going to see that. Someday you're going to see that he's called you to be more than ordinary. He's called you to a royal kingdom, to a crown, to share in glory. And you're not going to find that on the everyday regular road. That road stops halfway up the mountain. The regular, the comfortable, the wide is the way. You know, that, that road's not going to lead to the glory that he's calling you to. And it's hard to see that right now. It's really hard to see that right now. I know it is. But if you keep walking, keep climbing... Keep believing, keep hoping, keep trusting, keep working. Someday, 
someday the trees are going to thin and you're going to see a light on your path and he's going to show you he's going to take you to the top of that mountain he's going to show you everywhere you've gone and all the work that he's done in you in it and you're going to step back and go oh my gosh I see now I see now that and it's all going to come together but I want to encourage you today in the moments that you don't see it yet to believe it's coming believe it's coming because it's coming I promise you it's coming and you might not go back to exactly the way things were for you you might not but thank God that you won't thank God you're not going to go back to ordinary and that he's going to do a work inside of you through this that is going to make you better than you ever knew you could be or imagined that you could be so I just wanted to share that this morning because that came in my prayer and uh, I felt like it wasn't only for me that's not only um, I'm not the only one my kids aren't the only one who's been down that dark way we're not the only one who's felt that and I wanted to share that with you and just kind of encourage you so um, that's all I had this morning I hope uh, you guys are blessed I hope you have a great day um, and I will be praying for all of you all right. Peace to everyone. Bye.